He's an award-winning chef, a restaurateur, author, and seen on Top Chef as a contestant and now a judge. He really does it all. They are making his life story a biopic. Yeah. Isn't that correct? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you're going to be in the film as well. I'm going to have a small role. You're going to take over the world. The man. One day at a time. The man has a nail polish line. Do you hear me? Welcome, Kwame on Watching. Hey, Hi. Hi. Sorry, Hi. I wanted to get it all out there. I, I appreciate it. it. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You, oh, so today we are focusing on your cooking. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you started cooking? I was about five years old. My mother had a catering company that she operated from the house in the Bronx. Amazing. And very much against the law, she threw me an apron, and Incredible. I had to help out. Incredible. And this is one of the first dishes I learned how to make. Shrimp etouffee. Shrimp etouffee. You know what? Why not start with that instead of PB&J? OK, right? I like it. Yes, OK, yes. so teach me. All right, so we're going to add some butter to this pan. Your pan should be a little warm already. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make a roux. You know what a roux is? I do know what a roux Beautiful. is with the flour and the butter, right? Exactly. And there are different stages of the roux. You know, okay. there's like a blonde roux. There's... What roux are we making? We're making a blonde roux okay. in, in honor of you. A natural blonde. You exactly. mean a natural blonde roux? A natural roux? blonde roux. Not many people can say that. No, You're I uh, no, neither green. can I. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna add some flour to this. And we're just gonna cook it out. You know, we want this to toast a little bit. Yeah. And you know, the different stages of the roux depict on how your dish is gonna come out. Mm. A darker roux, you have gumbo. Mm. You know, uh, an even lighter roux, you'll have a, you know, a, a blanquette sauce. So this is right in the middle, and it's gonna give this a lot of flavor. Why is it that as soon as butter melts in a pan, it smells delicious? Because butter is your best friend. It really is. And it is. just wants to get closer to you every single day. I love you, butter, so much. I love you. I talk to my butter too. Oh, um, you know what? Soulmates. Soulmates. Kindred I spirits. have a feeling maybe there's a role for me, Gelman. <laughs> maybe you won't have me to kick around much longer. I need a food critic in the movie. Oh, I think you can I play, can I play, I play the play dreaded that. food critic. It won't Is be she... dreaded. Oh, all right. Well, I, I, can I, play I, I got some good reviews in my day. I've all got, right, I, I I've did got quite range. well. I've got range. I can play the dread. I can be the happy-go-lucky food okay. critic. I can be the sexy ingenue food critic. Wear <laughs> a little black dress to the, to oh, the uh, restaurant. absolutely. I can wear whatever you want. I do full nude. Don't flirt with me want. now, all right? Don't flirt with me on camera. I insist on nudity. <laughs> all right, so we're going to add... Uh, <laughs> now I'm getting hot in here. We're going to add <laughs> our aromatics to this, okay. okay? So we're gonna add, it's kind of like, it's called a trinity. Mm -hmm. So it's bell peppers, onions, and celery. Uh, we're gonna add some garlic to this as well. And you can't have Creole cuisine without the trinity. It's the most important mm -hmm. part of it. It gives it all of its flavor. So we're gonna let this cook in that roux. This is kind of called the pinsage method. Pinsage. Pinsage. Because uh -huh. I want you to know these words when you're the food critic coming into the exactly. Into the I'm going to. Okay? I'm going to. You're like, is this those... pinsage or what? Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> well, you are a superstar. I'm telling you. <laughs> like, forget. I know Lakeith Stanfield is playing you, but maybe you should play you. I'm just saying. We got to have uh, notes from the middle-aged black chef, and uh, when that yeah. movie comes out, then I'll play myself. Oh, are, right? are you going to play the middle-aged version of you? Yeah. It'll be oh, a couple okay. Years. All right. Well, you know, it's Hollywood, so I guess that's possible. We'll put some makeup on me, some gray hair, and we'll right. figure it out. We'll figure it out. Because I play an 85-year-old. I just want you to know that. Impossible. No, I'm just telling you, Hollywood is cruel. <laughs> what is this what you're throwing in here? There's a little Creole spice. Creole sauce, sorry. Creole I'm spice. Derailing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It smells it's, good in here, right? Gosh, I feel bad that the audience at home can't smell this. I'm going to put a little salt in here, and that'll help sweat the vegetables and speed up this cooking process. Don't sweat it. Don't Do sweat it. Do you hear though. Ryan? <laughs> Ryan is literally drooling. Ryan's trying oh. to jump in. He's he trying really, to jump in. He, he wants, wants to be part to of the conversation. This. I get it. He does. It's a great combo, but we'll have your time. You'll we'll have your time. I'm thinking about what role I'm going to play. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the trainer? The trainer. Yes. <laughs> You're saying I need a saying I need a trainer. Ryan? Right? No, I'm just saying. Just Every saying Ryan wants to play the sexy movie. No, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. Okay? I, I'm typecast. I'm typecast. <laughs> Can Ryan play Zac Efron? Doesn't he come into the restaurant? That's one of my best friends. I grew up with him, actually. Is that true? No, it's not. Oh, okay. But, but you believed it. He's from the Bronx. I do. I believe it. <laughs> Truly, Zac Efron I believe. grew up in the South Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna add this shrimp stock now. 
I don't know. <laughs> we're making a bacon, egg, and cheese in here. That's what we're making, okay. no. So we're gonna stir this in a little bit at a time. And you said this is shrimp stock? Yeah, right. so when you are peeling your shrimp, just save those shells periodically, uh -huh. and then you'll be able to make your own shrimp stock super easy. Okay. Oh. Am I doing just, it right? Just pour it yes, in. Yes, you're doing it perfectly, perfectly right. You gonna... see this? I'm using my left hand to stir. I don't normally do that. <laughs> I just wanted to show you my range. You got the range, huh? <laughs> wow. I, listen, Gilman, you're not going to have me to kick around much longer when Hollywood <laughs> describes what's been hiding here. <laughs> so now that this is all incorporated in, you're going to use your whisk to like break up all of the mm -hmm. roux and let it you know, mix into that stock. Uh, we're just going to let this simmer for a little bit. OK. What we're going to do now is Ryan's going to come back. He's going to join Kwame. They're going to discuss what role he's going to play in the movie. <laughs> and we're going to finish this dish. You're not going to want to miss it. Right. Back in the kitchen with Top Chef's Kwame. So uh, Kwame, this is uh, it's simmering now. Do we want to put the shrimp in? I'm gonna let's add some herbs to this. We're herbs. Add some herbs. Time. I love herbs from the garden. Fresh bay leaf. Yeah, I got to take the rubber band off. I don't know what accent on. that was at all, but I tried. It was, um, <laughs> it was a hybrid of sorts, actually. It was a it? 1940s. So I'm putting these in whole. I'm just putting accent. these in. Yeah. Whole? Put that in. Put that in whole. Let it do its thing. It's real so irreverent. And okay. then we're gonna put this pot on there, and we're yep. just gonna let it mm. simmer low and slow, and talk about your life story. Growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, how was that? Hey, listen, my co-host has gone on to do movies. I need a co-host, I guess, so please. I'm the you, guy you, for it. I, right? I mean, the I'm here, right? I showed up. Um, which shrimp, what kind of shrimp are we putting in? So we're putting in Gulf shrimp. OK. You got to put it in. in the, the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf shrimp? Gulf of Mexico, yeah. yeah. It has the a pan flavor to me. But also, like, that's where Louisiana is. So okay. the shrimp that we use is the Gulf shrimp. If you want to use frozen shrimp, uh, it's, it's more economical. So, like, I'm not going to say don't do it. But if you can find fresh Gulf shrimp, please use that. And just going back to the notes from a young black chef, the memoir being made into a movie, that is yeah. just so incredibly exciting. Congratulations. It is, it is. Thank you. You know, I appreciate it. I don't think it's going to hit me until I'm eating popcorn, watching some Somebody recite you? words that I said when I was a kid. How many books have you written? Uh, I just finished my third book, so and it's a cookbook. You're working for Food and Wine. You're doing cooking. I'm, I yeah, mean, nail polish literally. coming out soon, which is really, really cool. I know. I'm excited about yeah. that. Uh, Are you gonna wear it? Uh, do you wear it or something? do you paint it? Uh, well, you, you paint, paint it, it first, on. and then yeah. you wear it yeah, afterwards. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So I do will. both. I will. It's a two, two for one. Yeah, uh, send me a couple colors. I'll really butt. change it up. All right, All right cool. so what are we going to make next? So, uh, well, we have the corn mock shoe. You have mm. it in front of you. That's yes. already done. OK. Um, they you, knew it was my segment. You're just going <laughs> to eat that. You're not going to put that in anything. Okay. It's already finished. It's done. And then we have perfectly steamed rice. So we're just going to let the shrimp do its thing while we talk about All right. the world. And do you also like oysters? I love oysters, I, but I just got an oyster allergy. It came later in life. How did it life. happen out of the blue? Really? Later in life. Is it shellfish? Is it oysters? Is it because it's, it's raw? It's only raw oyster. You know what? I don't want to talk about no, that. No, no, don't talk. <laughs> because it's going to be a book. I my secrets, OK? It's going to be a book. I'm not allergic at no, all. I, I love oysters. Because I grew delicious. up in the summer shucking oysters down in the panhandle. Yeah? Yeah. You, you, they were like two cents, you know? Yeah. For an oyster. yeah oysters get, are expensive now. Well, now they are. But back yeah, when I was growing up, you could get a dozen for nothing. What is your favorite type of food, though? Because I know you grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. So it depends what time of day. OK. Right? So I like a dinner, long. Dinner time. Dinner. I love Italian. I love mm. Mexican. I love Spanish. I love Swiss. But I like a long lunch. I prefer to have my big meal, like a long Saturday lunch and a okay. light. So we should do a, what do you think about that kind of a pitch? Like a long a daytime movie. I think you should work on it a little bit. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. But I think it's got, it's got potential, though. Season 18, Top Chef. What's happening this season? Uh, What's happening this yeah, season? Yeah, because you have so much going on. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really special time to be there. You know, like now I'm on the other side of the judges' table. It's very surreal. To have know? been competing and to now competing judging. competing and now I'm judging. But it beats running around making a taco in 15 minutes, I'll so, tell you that much. Uh, when you are judging, what are you really looking for? What's, what matters to you? I'm looking for technique. Um, I'm looking for seasoning. I want to make sure they're cooking their food properly. It's really the basics. If you stick to the basics and do it right, you're not going home. Isn't there like a, found, a fine balance between seasoning and over-seasoning? There like, is. There's a, there real, is. There's a line. I'd rather have over-seasoned food than under-seasoned food. I, and, but you also want to taste the flavor of the vegetables oh, the and the freshness and the shrimp and everything else, too, right? Exactly. You know, it, it's something to really think about. Like, you need to put yourself on a plate. Mm -hmm. And it's the only chance we really get to see you. You know, and food should tell a story, and that's the way it has a soul. Is this a dumb question? How do you steam rice perfectly? So you know what the trick is? It's toasting the rice in the pan first and coating each grain with fat. And then you add your stock, and then you let it steam 
preferably in the oven because you have heat coming from all sides. Hey, yeah. listen, Top Chef Thursdays, 8 p.m. on Bravo. For more info on this recipe and more, our website has got it all. Great to see you, man. That's great hey, to see you. You're Hopefully. taking over the world, and we love it, all right? Appreciate it. I appreciate we'll be right it. back with the inbox. Stay with us. Chef Kwame.